Hi, I'm on the way to BYD. And the reason why I've got a really special invitation to a press launch, I have, don't really know much about what it's about, but I know it's to do with BYD's cars and drones. So let's go find out together. Uh, so yeah, bye bye. Okay, so we've arrived here, which is I believe where the registration is. From what I understand, I think it's something to do with a, well it's definitely something to do with a BYD vehicle and a DJI drone. At the hotel where we registered, they provided us a voucher for a buffet dinner. And I've decided to go with some sushi. Um, it's one of my favorites. So after we've had something to eat at the hotel, we're now on our way to the BYD headquarters for the launch event. So let's see what it's all about. I've arrived here, so let's go and see what it's all about. Let's go have a look. Okay, a DJI drone flying here. And it seems as though there's some sort of pod on the top here <laughs> where the drone releases from you get the footage from the drone on the screen this car that this is launched out of is the Bao 8 uh, which is the uh, larger version of the Fang Chang Bao that's a, a really nice car so this is uh, the mechanism of how the drone how it catches it on top of the car look and then it goes down into the roof into the pod of the roof of the car and then those close up around it and keep it all weather tight now this over here is Denza and um, this is the Denza N9 and wow what a nice car this is I think this is a this is a nice nice car and again the pod is mounted on the top um, there look pod is mounted on the top there and yeah you got your drone in 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 your box that's so cool wow this is cool it's like a it's like a wukong version whoa that's a pretty nice paint job on that oh nice that is very smart that is really nice and as you can see this is a specially modified um, drone it has these additional connectors here so this is this is where in place of a battery so the connections will connect to here when it's in the box on top of the car to charge the drone it looks like it looks like um, a Mavic Air 3 that does I guess you can probably have different models maybe but that looks like a that looks very much like the new Mavic Air 3S Oh, so that's really cool. I'm just speaking to the engineer. And first of all, he confirmed that it is the um, Air 3S, the new one with the LiDAR. Uh, but it, what he also confirmed is that you can not only use it with the uh, DJI hand controller that you hold, but with one press of a button, it can be tro controlled from the car so it will automatically follow the car without you doing anything and the other thing is that the the transmission is not from the handset it's actually from the car so I would imagine it's a stronger transmission than using a traditional DJI handset and the other thing he told me that in the future there may be um, an option to have a higher level drone but actually the DJI Air 3S is a really good drone anyway so we're actually going into the uh, launch now whoa cool <laughs> Show, but 
unfortunately it's a little bit misty, what a shame. But that is so cool. Wow. So the presentation's now over, but that was really, really cool. Um, I mean, I, I'm, hopefully uh, they will supply some clips so I can put in this video to show you, but what cool technology, man. Just fantastic that two leading companies, Dajang in, in their uh, drones and BYD new energy vehicles, and they've done a cooperation. Who would have thought just a few years ago that you would have drones launching from cars, making it as easy as pressing one button to get those fantastic shots of your car, your family, whatever. Absolutely amazing. Anyway. It's time to go home. I've thoroughly enjoyed this press release here at BYD in Shenzhen. But as always, for now, take care.